So if you've got a K40, you know what this is. This is the infamous K40 fan. The reason why I have it here, I plan on connecting it back and using an anemometer to see what kind of air speed we're getting out of it. What I'm interested in seeing is if opening the lid makes a difference or not in, in air speed. And also if turning the laser on so the power supply exhaust fan, if that one has any effect on it. After that I'm going to connect my regular exhaust which is a 190 CFM and then we'll see what kind of numbers we get out of that so we can compare with this one. I've got the fan going into a hose and it goes into this reducer that's about two inches slightly smaller than the outside diameter of the anemometer so we know all the airflow will actually go through and not around this so try to keep this as fair as possible we're going to use the same setup with the other fan so I'm going to go ahead and find a better spot for the camera so you can actually see the numbers and uh, we'll see what they look like. Okay, so I know the camera angle may be a little odd, but it is in this position because otherwise the wind would blow straight into the microphone and it would sound like you're outside. So, let's do this. You're probably wondering why I have this metal plate in here and the reason for that is this fan has so much power that's actually pushing the anemometer down. So I have to find something that was magnetic and this is just compressing the anemometer to the foam in the back. So let's see what kind of numbers we get with this one.
So what is the conclusion after all this testing? Well, we know the K40 fan is not great. Seeing an ammometer repeatedly is not easy. And the biggest problem that the K40 has is likely not the fan. As you notice, with both fans, when we turn the laser on, the airspeed went down. Which tells me that even though there's an itty bitty fan in the power supply case, it's enough to affect the airflow. And this is likely to this Swiss cheese situation over here. You have an access hole for the gantry, which is needed, but you should probably go on the back there and just tape it up. There's another hole over here, which appears to serve no purpose, it was just likely the way it was constructed. And then there's another access over here for the wiring to pass through. This one will be a little more complicated, but if you get creative with some tape, you can probably get rid of that as well. That will stop the airflow from going into the power supply chamber and being evacuated through the back. I'm sure that will limit any kind of smoke left in the room. Aside from that, the only other thing that you could really do to improve this is figure out a way to let air come in from the front. That will make it a lot easier for the fan to pull it through the back. Is there a good way to do this? Not really. In order to be safe, you want to make sure that the lid stays closed and there's no way for you know, the laser beam to escape. Is it impossible? No. But this is probably a subject for another video. So I hope you found this mildly entertaining or informative. And I'll see you uh, on the next one.